Howdy gamers, and I'm sick and tired of people acting like mobile games aren't real games and ain't Raid Shadow Legends much. And if you still don't believe me that mobile games are real games, explain this. Whoops. Explain this. I'm not too sure if I really need to do an introduction to Among Us here because let's be honest, your favorite Fortnite funny Twitch streamers have probably been playing it recently and posting highlights to YouTube and there's a good reason for this because it's a freaking blast to play with friends. Sometimes. Oh my f***ing god, are you serious Dylan? Dylan, you. you just lost the game! God, that oh my god, damn it, dude. Bro. But on the off chance you haven't heard of this game, it's a hidden identity party game similar to Secret Hitler, Mafia, or One Night Ultimate Werewolf, except it's a video game. You can play with up to 10 people and there are the two teams, the imposters and the crewmates. The crewmates goals are to complete the tasks around the map, ward off the imposters in meetings, and also not die and believe me, that's an important one. The meetings are the only time you're allowed to be talking to each other unless you're dead and then you can't talk. The meetings themselves can be called by a button or will happen automatically when a body is reported. You never have to vote someone off though, you can always skip the vote and usually it's a good idea to only kill someone if you have to. But on the other side of things, the imposters win by killing all the crewmates, whether that be through actually physically killing them, tricking crewmates into voting off the wrong person, or through sabotage like cutting off the oxygen or causing a nuclear meltdown. And even if Among Us isn't a tabletop game like Secret Hitler, Mafia, or One Eye Ultimate Werewolf, there's just as much freedom with how you can play. You can change the amount of tasks, the kill time for the imposters, how many imposters there are. There isn't auto acceleration though and that's why I always prefer Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Other than no auto acceleration though, you can perfectly balance the game for you and your friends so you never feel like one team is way too overpowered. Most of the games for my friends and I will come down to just two crewmates and one imposter and it's just one of the most intense things ever. You'll feel like Phoenix Wright trying to explain to Emery that actually you can't be the imposter because you just prevented a nuclear meltdown and you could have won the game there, but Emery will just ignore all that and say no, it has to be you. Meanwhile, it was freaking Adam the whole time and he just won the entire game because no one suspected him. There were so many awesome moments like this while playing and if you're worried about the game getting still, you don't really have to worry because there are so many random elements to it like which people are the crewmates, what tasks you have, and even what map you choose that each game feels different than the last. Also yeah, you heard me right, there are multiple maps, three of them to be exact. But I know what you're thinking, how does the map selection here compare to Mario Kart 8 Deluxe? And to be honest, it's too close to tell, so I'll just both give them points for this one. Overall, all the maps in Among Us are pretty different from each other layout wise, and I don't really have a favorite because they're all really good. They also all have different ways to see what people are up to, which if you're an imposter, you have to keep an eye out for. The scout has security cameras which give you a limited view of certain areas, and an admin table which allows you to see what room people are in, but won't tell you their names. Mora HQ has an admin table and a door log which tells you the name of people and where they are, and Polis has vitals which tells you who's alive, cams, and admin. Don't worry though, if you are an imposter you still have some tricks up your sleeve, like the vent which allows you to basically teleport around the map either to get away from someone you just killed, or to sneak up on someone and kill them. You do have to be careful though, because if someone sees you getting in or out of a vent they'll know you're an imposter because only imposters can use the vents. Other than vents though, another thing only imposters can do is sabotage. The sabotage is another way the imposters can win and you can do anything from shut down comms right before you use a vent so no one sees you moving around on the admin table, to shutting a door so that you can kill someone and not be seen, or even sabotage the oxygen which will be an instant win if the crewmates don't repair it before the time gets to zero. Even if you die as long as you're an imposter you can still sabotage, but there is always a cooldown on it and you can only sabotage once every so often because of that. And if your teammate sabotages, you'll still have to wait for the cooldown to end. Overall, imposters can basically do everything the crewmates can do and more, except for the tasks. The tasks are the main goal of the crewmates because get them all done and you'll win. They're really well designed to a point that a brand new player can see them for the first time and just with the context clues provided, solve them which is some impressive game design. If you're wondering how you find your tasks, they're marked on your map which also shows the layout of the whole area. The imposters also have tasks marked on their map which means they can pretend to do tasks so that way they aren't suspected. 
I like that the tasks actually have meaning behind them and they aren't just busy work and I also like that they're risky to do because while you're doing a task you're completely vulnerable to being killed by an imposter because it covers up your whole screen so you can't see someone coming and run away. Overall this game is amazing and I didn't even get to the best part which is that this game is completely free to play on mobile. And on top of that, if you really need to play it on PC, it's only $5 on Steam. With all that said though, this is a review, so to give this game an award, I would give it the Best Free Game of 2018 award. I don't really know any other free games that came out in 2018, but it definitely deserves it. On top of that, to give this game a score of 100, I would give it a 91 out of 100. It's a lot of fun to play with friends, but just because we gave this game a score of 100 and an award doesn't mean we're done here. There's still one last thing Mario Kart 8 has over Among Us. You can play as Metal Princess Peach. <laughs> that was a close one, but you should have stayed tuned for next week where we compare the Metal Gear Solid 2 instruction manual to a newborn baby. And until then, stay safe, and I love you guys.